What's up, guys? Silver here, bringing you week nine of the SBN. And in this week, we're going to be going against our good pal, Surgeon of Death 6. So make sure to go check him out. He's a really, really good battler. He's a really, really great friend of mine. Um, and uh, he deserves a lot more subs than, than what he has, honestly. He's a really, really cool guy. He's really funny, too, honestly. I really love watching his videos. Uh, he's pretty entertaining, to be honest with you. Uh, one of my good friends. He's a pretty close friend of mine, I, th I think. I mean, we don't talk too much, but uh, we're starting to talk a lot more, honestly. Uh, a little bit... Wait. Ah. That's supposed to be a four over there. We're, we're four and four, guys. <laughs> Not three and four. Uh, my bad about that, look. I mean, like... It, you guys know we're four and four. We, you should know we're four and four. We're four and four, actually. We're not three and four. I, I guess I forgot to change that because uh, this match was pretty... I mean, it was unexpected because I didn't think I was going to battle, but it happened. So, um, as you can see here, this was a really, really important match, though, honestly. Uh, uh, let me... Hold on. This is a really, really important match because this potentially decided who's going to make playoffs. Well, like, there's still there's still chance for whoever loses this match. More Surgeon because of his differential. Uh, since he's on a negative one right now, and I'm at a negative four. So if I were to lose uh, really badly, then I'm pretty much done for. But I think potentially the only way for me to still make playoffs is, even if, if I lost against uh, Surgeon, was lose 3-0 or less. And then um, he needs to lose his last match, probably 4-0, 5-0, or 6-0. And then I need to win my last match. Uh, with a, it, it all depends on differentials, but let's not worry about that right now. Let's worry about let's focus on this match. Um, this was a really really important match, like I said, because this really really defines who potentially is going to playoffs. Now there actually is somebody else that can still go to playoffs, which is Arcanium, because he did win his. His, uh, his week 9 match, or was it week, yeah, week 9 match? So he still has a chance. So he's he's 4 and 5 right now. M me and, me and uh, Surgeon are both 4 and 4. Whoever loses this match, if I lose, I'm going down. I'm going below Arcanium. Arcanium's going to be higher than me. If I win, obviously I'll be in 3rd place, while Surgeon will be below Arcanium, or depending on differentials there. But really, really important match. Let's get to the match. Uh, let's get to what what each of us brought so on my side i brought kieran black mega venusaur mimikyu vaporeon skunk tank and combustion now um to be honest i didn't really expect this team well like i guess yes i did because i knew he would bring Staraptor, i knew he would bring ratini i knew he would bring La uh latias i knew he would bring registeel and gastrodon but i didn't think he would bring the delibird this week and now keep in mind delibird is his zemon user he didn't pick that. Uh, he didn't pick that, but uh, Hera actually picked that for him. So, Delibird is a Zemon user. So, um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, that's his. No, I wasn't gonna say anything. That's a Zemon user. So, I didn't expect the Delibird, so I didn't really. I mean, obviously, we had things to kill the Delibird. This thing is not that big of a threat, but. Um, let's get into the match, shall we? So. I'm going to lead off with my Vaporeon, expecting him to lead off with Victini. And uh, I think that's exactly what happens. No, he leads off with his he leads off with the Star Raptor. And uh, right here, I was I was really worried about the Brave Bird, to be honest. This um cuz Brave Bird does a lot. This thing does a lot of damage. Honestly, I really wouldn't mind using this one time. I love Star Raptor. It's probably one of my favorite birds. I would not mind mind using a Star Raptor once in a in a league battle in a league match or in competitive because it's it's so freaking good, dude. It's 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 a threat. It's a threat now. But anyways, he goes for the U-turn here. As I just go for the wish, just to get myself back to full potentially, because I didn't know if he was Brave Bird or not. But right here, I switch out into my Combuskin, expecting the rocks, and uh, I think I automatically just go for the Swords Dance here. And I do get the speed boost right here. I just go for Protect, so I can get another boost. But um, I, I I I still couldn't determine whether he was um. Uh, I still couldn't determine if he was, um, if he was banded or, or, or scarfed. And I, I, I didn't even ask him. I should have asked him. I think he was, I, I think he was banded. I think he was banded. I'm not too sure. 
But uh, right here, I wanted to baton pass out, but actually he he turns out to be faster than me, so I, I honestly didn't even know, to be honest. And there goes my Combuskin. Um, he got a crit too, but it doesn't really matter, because crit would have killed, I mean, the normal, it would have killed either way. But uh, I go into my report on here, um, expecting him to go for something, and I just go for the Wish, and then I go for the Scald here, as he misses the Thunder Wave, which was pretty huge, because that kind of really didn't matter, to be honest. Uh, that was pretty important because Vaporeon, you're going to find out that Vaporeon uh, put in a lot of work in this match. I switched into my Skunk Tank here, expecting him to go for uh, T-Wave. I honestly thought Skunk Tank was the best Pokemon to get T-Waved. I thought it was T-Wave, but he didn't. So, um, he switches into his Gastrodon here as he goes for a Scald, and I just go for a, uh, I go for a Roar, and I get the Victini. Now, right here was pretty important, to be honest, because... I really was contemplating where to go for Pursuit or Sucker Punch. And um, I really didn't know what to go for. I didn't know if he wanted to stay in and I just go for Pursuit. But ultimately, oh, and I didn't know if he would, if I would live. So I wanted to go for Defog to get rid of the rocks because the rocks are potentially, the rocks being potentially gone are pretty huge, to be honest. But right here, I decide to go for the Sucker Punch as it does 60%. And he goes for the Bolt Strike here and gets a Para. So that was pretty lucky. I didn't even know Bolt Strike could get a para, to be honest. So he gets a para here. He thought I would switch out here. Or he no, he thought I would go for Pursuit. But I ended up going for Sucker Punch, and I get parried. So there goes my Skunk Tank. Um, If I wouldn't have gotten parried, I would have killed this thing. And this thing would have been gone. I wouldn't have had to worry about that thing. About the 18 anymore. But um, unfortunately, we got parried. Fuck Pokemon. Like, I really think that mattered, to be honest with you. But, um, oh well. I mean, what's, what, what are we going to do? I still have a chance. We're, we're down 2-0, but I still have a chance here. I go into my report on here because I know we can take a Bolt Strike or pretty much anything. And I just go for another Wish here, um, expecting him to go for, like, a Bolt Strike. But he really didn't go for it. So I switch into my Venusaur here. As he goes into his Gastrodon, I guess predicting a Scald. But I didn't go for that. Uh, he switches out into his... Um, into his uh, Star Raptor as I go for a Leech Seed here just to get some chip damage off of this thing. And I go into my Vaporeon as he goes for the U-turn. I really thought he would go for Brave Bird, but he didn't. So, um, now he has... Wait, this is going too fast. Hold on, I can't talk this fast. Alright, okay. I switch it to my Vaporeon as he goes for the U-turn. Uh, just to at least, I mean, I'm assuming to, like, get rid of the Leech Seed. And he goes into his Ikatini here because I know he knows Bolt Strike can kill now. So right here, I'm I'm thinking, well, what do I do? What do I go? What I what what do I do? Should I? I, I can't I can't stay in. I have to switch out into my into my Venusaur, hoping that he goes for a uh, hoping he goes for a Bolt Strike, but he doesn't. He goes for a turn here, expecting me to switch into my Venusaur, and he goes into his uh his Star Raptor. And right here, I was a little worried because I thought he would go for Brave Bird to kill me, but he didn't. So he just he goes for U turn as he goes into my as he goes into his Rage of Steel and I go for Sludge Bomb, which doesn't work unfortunately. But right here I know I can synthesize up against this against this Rage of Steel because this thing really can't do anything to me. So I go for the synthesis here as he goes for a uh, a uh, a Thunder Wave and he does connect this time, which is pretty good on his part. He switches out into uh, he switches out into his Latias as I go for a Leech Seed here just to get some damage off on whatever wants to come in. He goes for the Psychic here, as I go for a Synthesis, because I knew he would go for a Psychic-type move. And I think right here, I believe he switches out into... Yeah, he switches out into Delibird. As I switch out, I switch the hell out of there into my Vaporeon. And, um, this thing actually... I fucking hate this thing now, honestly. <laughs> but whatever. He switches out into his Gastrodon. I know he would do that, so I just go for the Wish. Uh, to get back to full. But, um... He doubles out into his uh, his Latias here as I, as I go for an Ice Beam. And we do get some good damage off of it. 37% is not too bad. And right here, I know like I could just stay in and pretty much Ice Beam. So I'm just going to do that. Uh, I just stayed into Ice Beam again. And uh, we obviously do nothing to the Registeel because that thing is bulky as hell. Um, right here, I switch out into my Venusaur because I know this thing can't really do much to me. But he doubles out into his uh, Gastrodon. I guess expecting a Scald, but I wasn't going to do that. And then he he does another switch into his his Latias, and I get paired again. <sighs> Two paras that probably potentially mattered to be honest with you because I I went for Sludge Bomb, 
and uh, it would have done about 30 some percent or 30 percent or something 20 to 30 percent so that would have been some good damage off from this Latias but unfortunately we do not we get parried which is kind of huge because now he can recover up here and I can just I mean I just synthesis up because I was expecting a psychic or something but right here I switch I, uh, I switch out into my Vaporeon as he goes for a psychic I mean I switched out expecting a psychic and he does go for that and right here I think I go for the I go for an ice beam here because I know I can I, oh no, I go for the wish. My bad. I go for the wish here because I know I can live one for sure. And uh, he goes for psychic. As I go for an ice beam here because I know I can not. Now I know I can live one. And we do 37%, which isn't too bad. We're back at we're back to half, which is pretty good because nothing really is gonna kill. I go for the ice beam here. We do get a crit, which is I don't know if I mean potentially it mattered to be honest. Uh, he goes for the recover as I go for a wish. Just to get back to uh, pretty much full. And I know he's just going to like go for another move. He goes for Psychic. As I go for the Ice Beam. And we get the Freeze. Now that that mattered. Because. That mattered. But it, it did matter. Obviously. Because now he can't stay in. Or he has to sack this thing. Or do something with it. So um, right here. I just decided to go for the Wish. Expecting him to like switch out or something. And, um, so we can go back to full at least, and in comes a Gaster on here, and I just go into my Venusaur, hoping he would stay in, but obviously he wouldn't stay in, that would be kind of stupid of him. He goes into his Delibird here, and this is where I fucked up. I mean, I didn't really fuck up, because honestly, I wasn't thinking, like, I knew this thing had a Z-move, but I wasn't thinking, I, I completely forgot Delibird was a flying type. Yes, I, I, I forgot Delibird was a fucking flying type. So, obviously, it learns flying type moves. I was thinking he would go for a, uh, a, uh, a, a, an ice type move. ICMZ or something. But, he goes for Supersonic, what is it? Supersonic stri Sky Strike, which kills. And Delibird gets his first kill of this, uh, of this thing. And, uh, at this point, I'm like... I'm done with this fucking game, dude. I, I, I can't believe I did that. I should have fucking switched out. I should have done something. I don't know. I should, Venusaur was pretty huge because it was keeping me in the match. And at this point, uh, it's pretty... It's pretty... Uh, I can still win. I still have a chance to win. But it's pretty, pretty... It's a pretty low chance. So, I didn't really know what to do here at this point. So, I decided to go into my Kyurem because uh, Kyurem... Kills with an ice beam. I didn't want to go for an outrage here because I was ho I wasn't I was really scared he would go into his registeel, his registeel and like trap me or something, you know? Because I mean I'd be, I'd be trapped because I'm I'm I have I have outrage, but I just go for the ice beam here and we do uh forty nine percent because we did get a crit also, which um uh, which I don't know if that really mattered. It actually look, hold on let me let me hold on, well, let me go here. We go for Ice Beam here. I am carrying HP Grass. And I was really thinking I would kill with HP Grass. But it turns out um, he is fully invested in Special Defense. So HP Grass was a roll to kill at this point. And um, after Leftovers, it was, it was a roll. It was 54 to 60 something. And I was really hoping the HP Grass would kill. I was really hoping. It would have helped a lot. Because this Gastrodon would have been out of the way. And I would have had some... I guess some decent momentum. But, um... I go for the HP Grass here. It does not fucking kill. It does 53%. And he can just recover pretty much all the damage he took from that. And, uh... He's higher this time. I go for the Ice Beam here because... Uh... I, I know it does some good damage on anything it wants, that wants to come out. I mean, obviously, except for the Registeel. And... And the Victini. But... He, he switches into his uh, Latias here. I guess... I don't know what he was thinking. I guess he wanted to sack it? I don't really know. He actually said... I don't know what I was thinking there. But, uh... Wait, I think he, I think that's when he said... Does, is that when he said? I don't, I don't really know. Right here... Um... I fucked up. I... I choked. Technically, I did choke. But, uh... I was really hoping he would go for the bolt strike here. Because if he did... I could have, um, I think I outraged. I'm pretty sure I outraged. I brought, I, 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 in my mind, I decided to sack this thing. But, 
I really, really was hoping he would go for the bullet strike. And he fucking didn't go for the bullet strike. He went for the V-Create. So, bye-bye Kiram at this point. But he actually told me he clicked bullet strike five times. But he canceled all those five times. And at the very end, he canceled at the very end to click V-Create. And, I mean, obviously it fucking it, it kills my Kiram. So, there goes my Kiram. And, uh, pretty much my chances of winning this game are... They're really low. I could s honestly still win because all his mons are pretty weak. Except for the Dullabird. But, it was a pretty, pretty low chance for me to win at this point. And, uh, right here I just go into my Mimikyu. Because at this point I really didn't know what else to do. I, I had to... I had to kill this thing, or I had to. S I didn't really know. I had I had to bank on some some things, but I go into my Mimikyu here, um, hoping what was it called? Hoping he would switch into the Star Raptor. I guess I don't I don't really know what I really wanted to do here. I could have I should have just Swords Danced. I I should have just Swords Danced. I I didn't expect him to stay in to be honest, but obviously it's it should have been kind of obvious for him to switch out. So if I would have Swords Dance here, instead of going for the Play Rough on this Registeel, I could have potentially been at a better position, because Mimikyu does some decent damage. But right here I switch out. Oh, my bad. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get, let me, hold on. Let me actually go here. So, I, I okay, I go for the Play Rough, and then I switch out. But I really wanted to stay in, because um, I knew he was going to go for the T-Wave, but I, I honestly thought... He wouldn't go for the T wave. I, at the very last minute, I was like, "He's not going for T wave. I'm gonna, st I'm gonna switch out. He's gonna go for a move to break my, uh, to break my disguise." But then I realized, what can this thing fucking do to me? I mean, unless it has like heavy slam or some shit. But if it doesn't, if it has like uh, submission, I mean submission, seismic toss, then it can't do anything to me. So I could have stayed in and go for the swords dance, potentially kill this thing, and um, kept my disguise up. As he probably goes into Victini or his Staraptor or something. I would have to go for Play Rough. I would still have my Disguise though. So I'd be at a at a very better position. Because he would have to switch into something that would break my Disguise. Obviously anything breaks my Disguise. But if he goes into the Staraptor, I would just go for the Play Rough kill. If he goes into Victini, I would go for Shadow Sneak kill. But if he switches... If he goes into Victini and then switches out into Staraptor, I would have killed, obviously. And then Registeel would have died to the Shadow Claw. I think, yeah, it would have died to the Shadow Claw. I think it would have died to the Shadow Sneak too. But I don't do that. I switch out and I let my Vaporeon get paralyzed instead. Which I guess might have come and bite me in the butt. But I don't really know because Vaporeon was... I think Vaporeon was my, was my win con in this fucking match, to be honest with you. I had to keep Vaporeon at full or, and alive, healthy, for me to win. And um, I, let the, I, let it get, I let my Vaporeon get paralyzed. So right here, I just go for the wish here as I expect him to switch out because why would he stay in? I don't think it can do anything to me. He goes for the recover here as I go for Ice Beam. I was actually praying for fuck, uh, a freeze, but it doesn't really matter because he has Scald anyway, so it's not like it really mattered. Um, he switches out into his his uh, Delibird here, and this is where I'm like, we do 60%. That's not bad. Now, yes, as you saw here, this man... Destiny Bond. And I forgot. Delibird gets Destiny Bond. So I didn't I I, I clicked Ice Beam. If I would have wished I I could have probably stalled out this Destiny Bond, but this man clicks Destiny Bond. I go for the Ice Beam. And uh it's pretty much GG at this point because my Vaporeon faints. And now we're left with Mimikyu. And he switches into his Victini. I had to go for Shadow Sneak to kill this thing. Shadow Sneak guaranteed kills even though I'm not plus two. But he predicts that. I actually really want to go for the Play Rough here, but I didn't. He predicts that and goes into his Star Raptor. Obviously, Star Raptor is immune. He goes for the Yuzin here to break my disguise as I go for the Play Rough. Um, and we do 20, 19% to this Victini. And at this point, I just go for another player because I knew he would switch out. And we don't kill. We miss it by 6%. And Brave Bird kills. 
And that is GG. <sighs> I don't know if I played good or bad. I, I really don't know. Um, I really think I played okay, I guess, honestly. I mean, I don't really know how well I played. But, unfortunately, we got the loss. And now we're pretty much out of playoffs. But we still have a chance, like I mentioned earlier. It just... It's a matter of differentials. Um, Surgeon has to lose 4-0 uh, or higher. And I have to win 4-0 or higher. But it also depends on like what are, well, how he wins. So like if he loses 4-0, I have to win 6-0. And Arcanium has to lose for me to make playoffs. Or Arcanium has to win by like a less, a, a less differential. Because right now I'm at negative 7. I would be at negative 1 if I 6-0. And Surgeon would be at... He's at plus two right now, so he would be at negative two if he, if he um, what's it called? If he loses four zero, and then Arcanium is already at negative two, so Arcanium would have to, not even oh Arcanium would have to win at a, at a plus one or lose, and then um, if if Surgeon if Surgeon were to lose five zero, then I have to win five zero, and Arcanium obviously still has to lose. Arcanium has to lose either way. Arcanium has to lose for me to make it, or win one zero. At that point, no, not anymore. He can't win 1-0 if, if it's 5-0. And then, and then if Surgeon loses 6-0, 6-0, I have to win 4-0 to make playoffs. So, it's pretty it's pretty hard, to be honest with you, to, to make it. But I still have a chance. I just have to win. I have to win my last match. Surgeon has to lose his last match. Arcanium has to lose his last match. And I may play offs and potentially go against uh, either Hera or Potato or, or Jim because if Hera were to beat Jim, then Hera would is it would be in first place, and then at that point, I, I, first and second place are still they're they're still being decided because Hera plays Potato Hera plays Jim this uh this last week. This was a late this was a late battle by the way. Hera was is supposed to play Jim, um, and whoever wins from there is pretty much gonna be first place, but. Anyways, um, yeah, that was that was it. Oh my bad, that was it for the battle. Um, we lost to Surgeon Surgeon for the second time this season, so we're now four and five at a negative seven differential. But um, I mean, I guess I did better than I thought I would. To be honest, this was literally the first league that I'm going to finish because I did drop out of the PPC. But this is the first league that I'll actually legit finish this time. And uh, if I could get five five, that's not too bad. I mean, we're at, we're not. Uh, minus and we're not I mean we're, we're not plus either we're neutral and we could still potentially make playoffs like I said but it just depends on differentials and uh, I'm hoping for Surgeon to lose <laughs> that's pretty much it but uh, no hard feelings to, to I mean no hard feelings to Surgeon obviously because he knows <laughs> he knows he has to lose for me to win but he's not obviously he's gonna play as, as, at his best uh, but I wish I wish Surgeon luck um if he does make playoffs, I wish him luck. And uh, this is probably the last time I battle Surgeon for a while because I am potentially dropping out of the SBN to... I don't know. I really don't feel like I should stay, um, especially with with so much homework, with, some, uh, with focusing on college. So potentially I won't stay in this league. Uh, I don't know when they'll be... I don't know when they'll, I mean, start. Maybe I'll be able to play maybe whenever this starts again maybe i'll have a have opportunity to play again but um for right now it's looking like i'm gonna be dropping out of the spn so um last match might be my last match in this in this league unless i decide to come back we'll see but uh anyways i'm making this outro too long so i will see you guys in the next uh in the next in next week's battle and uh, you guys have a good day and uh i'm sorry for the for the loss uh I tried my best to be honest with you, but uh, Surgeon just played a little bit better than me. But uh, you guys have a good day and peace out.